Hi guys, how are you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic. Hope you're all having a splendid day in this crazy, crazy world we find ourselves in in 2020. And I thought I would just uh, make a quick video. I've come across some very interesting sites, uh, both in Germany, and basically they are both very similar, but uh, mainstream tells us that they are very different. So, uh, yeah, I want to get into a bit about castles and rocks and meltage. So, let's do it. Alright, so the place that I'm looking at is in Germany and it's called <laughs> Fun Finger Felsen, and I'm sure that's not how you say it. Uh, it's a uh, Fun Finger Felsen or something like that uh, in German. And um, there's not a lot on this. This is just a, a bit of a page, and as you can see, there's really nothing on it. Uh, on the this, um, these are called caves, or you know, um, you know, rock outcrops and things like that. So. Let's have a look. So this is it. Now, uh, in this picture, one thing that's interesting that I find is this carved bit here. I don't know what's happening, but it just kind of reminds me of uh, the doorways that you find like Amumaru in South America, where they're sort of carved into rock. Uh, you know, doorways that go nowhere. And as you'll see up here, of course, in this rock and this is called just the story here is that this is sandstone that is naturally formed millions of years old and uh, different groups of people have lived here at different times and they've gone inside and carved it out because as you can see here we've got some windows with bars on them inside this uh, rock you know they tell us inside the rock sandstone to be precise this is another shot. As you can see, uh, they've come along, and even though this is millions of years old and naturally formed, they had to just um, put this pillar in here to make sure it didn't fall over. But uh, look at this. This photo is... Well, there you go. I mean, what if... <laughs> it looks like there's pillars there, right? And open doors, and, you know, they're fairly... You know, obviously something's gone on, but you can see that they were all fairly, you know, sort of squared off symmetrical doors. But uh, it's just, again, yeah, this has been carved, they tell us, after the fact. And here's a, another picture. This is of uh, the same place. And as you can see, uh, we've got windows here. You know, these are the pillars. I'm not sure this, this looks like another retrofit. And these are just covered, the whole place is covered in carvings, you know, uh, graffiti basically. And uh, some of it's very old apparently. But look at this window. That's, but look at this window here that's been carved out and this one here. You can see how thick the walls are. Um, and we're told this was done because people were living in here. But there's no ceiling and there's no floor. So where were they living is the first question. And... What is this natural pillar sitting on? See that? Uh, I don't think I can I zoom in. Oops. Look at this. Is that what is that? Is that another retrofit man made? Because how did they get it underneath here? I don't know. Pretty interesting stuff and just the forms of this, you know, what do you reckon? Natural formed uh, sandstone, as they tell us, or are we looking at something else? Because look at this ceiling as well. This looks like something has, has broken away at some point. Like maybe these are remnants of it down here. Uh, but it looked like, it, well, you can see it looked like there would have been a ceiling. And you can see it almost looks like it's doming up a bit. Here is another shot, and again, you know, just looking a bit melted in some places. 
Uh, but these, again, these windows here are apparently carved out after the fact. But look at the sills on them. See how they're nice angled sills? Uh, the way that you would make them. Uh, I don't know. What do you reckon? Carved after the fact? Or is this something that's been melted? Uh, here's another place. Um, or another <laughs> shot of the same area. Another bit of it. And as you can see, just, you know, window or door or something carved in here. And again, how did they get up there to carve it? And why would they carve it? You know, because this, this is the story, is that this was all carved after the fact. Oh, you know, after it formed, naturally, after millions of years. And look at this bit here, how it curves up and over. Uh, again, is that, was that a dome? Got these pillar type things down here. I mean, this sort of curves over too. I don't know what's happened here. It looks like a big rock's just landed on it and melted into it. Ah, uh, here we go again, and you can see, again, they've retrofitted a door in here. This is of the same area, it's just a different view, because uh, there's that rock again. You can see it's kind of curving over, you know, curving out. And, you know, all these looking very pillar-like. You no. Know. And these striations, see these? How, you know, very equidistant distant apart, and... Yeah, what do you reckon? Naturally formed? Uh, here's, there's not too many internal shots, uh, but I found this one. And yeah, again, you know, we've got sort of openings cut and apparently all carved. But again, why would, I don't know, what's this? Did they carve this track? It looks a bit skinny. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but you know, look at these pillars. Look at this one here. Another one here. And then, the cave but for doing all this carving and all these windows and carving all this rock they haven't even done nice steps to get up into the cave and there's also this now what do you think about this this to me it looks like it's some kind of you know melted statue or something it looks like a head doesn't it don't know what kind of head it looks like something just sticking out here at the side. And again, we get all these different, you know, striations and things. Very, you know, melted, that sort of dappled look. Ah, uh, here's another shot. This is, yeah, that retrofitted pillar put in there by anarchists, as you can see. Ah, uh, well, look, there's the person taking the photo. But yeah, look at this again. This, you know, this looks like it was curving over to reach this. Uh, it's just got windows, doorways carved in here. And up down here again, looks like it's a curved over roof that's just been smashed out. But this is all natural formed rock that has been carved by people. That's what they tell us. And this is a shot from down below. Now, what do you think about that? This is what we were just looking at. All this sort of stuff was up the top here. As you can see, we've got all the doors and windows here. And this is listed as a, again, like a natural formed limestone that's been inhabited. Uh, you know, they say that it's millions and millions of years old, been inhabited for thousands of years by different people who have come along and carved it out, basically. Um, not that it looks like there's any actually good places to live there so why would you put all that work in and this is castle and fortress regenstein and yeah as you can see we have this picture okay now this is a man-made castle that, that they call this a man-made castle uh well-preserved walls of the former prussian fortress uh, became a popular destination after its destruction during the 18th century. So that, that's a castle. Okay. It clearly, uh, it's been destroyed. This is not a castle. This is a man-made, um, a, sorry, this is a natural, uh, formation that's been carved over thousands of years. So they say. 
this is a man-made castle. So these things, I mean, this is the thing, guys. What do you think? They, they tell us that this is man-made and the other one is not, but clearly they, they're the same kind of thing. They're clearly the same. And this is Castle and Fortress of Regenstein, uh, also in Germany, and this yeah, is a man-made castle. So they say. Okay, so we have this, which is a natural formation, sandstone formed over millions of years, and man's come along and carved these holes in it for some unknown reason, because clearly that you can't live up there as it is if it was just a natural rock formation. Uh, and then we have, on the other hand, a man-made construction of a castle. But they do look very similar, do they not? What do you think? That's the uh, natural one. That's the man-made one. Uh, so here is just a bit of the history of this castle. Um, and there's really not much here. You know, it's the same old story. Uh, Castle of Regenstein, and it says 1162 is when the Count of Regenstein uh, was mentioned for the first time. Uh, so this is basically the first mention of, of it was 1162. And then it says, uh, you know, it went through, um, basically it was owned by a ruling class up to the 1500s. Uh, then they started having disputes and they moved out at uh, 1599. John Ernest of Regenstein was the last to live in it as a castle. Then the Prussians took it over and it became a fortress uh, from 1671 and it was expanded into a fortress by the Prussians. Blah, blah, blah. It was a fort for a while. Then some guy came along, Johann Wolfgang. Oh, Goeth. Oh, well, there you go. It was Goeth. I did not know. Uh, Goeth visited Regenstein on the 11th of September. Really? On September 11th. There you go. 1784, together with the artist George Melchior Krauss. Uh, and they liked it so much that they basically turned into a tourist attraction. Uh, and a, a restaurant was opened there in 1812. Now, what they don't tell us is what happened. What happened to this place? Um, this is it. Well, this is the backside. That was that, uh, red brick turret we saw. Look at this. Just going straight to the ground. Um, so this, <laughs> so this was a castle and then a fortress, but what, what happened? Like, seriously, this thing got smashed. That's pretty much all that's standing and uh, that looks like red brick. Um, it's got trees growing on it. Ah, oh, that's it in the distance. Huge outcropping. And of course, always, you know, up on a big hill. Old world city below. But nothing to see here, right? Um, this is, uh, what? That looks like that picture we were looking at from that other place. I mean, I, I think it, I don't think it is. It's slightly, it's different, but how similar does that look? Uh, so this is obviously, I don't know, a bit of retrofitting again, but you look at this right angled corner. Look at this. Is this plumbing or something? See that drainage going into there? Holes everywhere. And this is what's left on the outside. Just, you know, but they don't tell us how it was destroyed. Oh, we've got underground levels. Is that the top of a roof? What is going on there? Look, look at that. I've got the old wall there. And then it actually, this one on top actually even looks older than the one below. So yeah, um, Regenstein Castle, they don't tell us what happened. Yeah, that was, that's underneath. That looks uncannily like, uh, yeah, and this one with that, yeah, retrofitted, uh, brick pillar. But this, this is all natural, guys. This was just natural, and people came along and, I don't know, carved walls. Um, even though there's no ceiling or floor, you know, they lived just, I don't know, just, yeah, like this. Um, and then this is um, completely man-made. Not man-made. 
man made. And clearly, that they might, maybe it's because of the steps that they couldn't, you know, sort of say this isn't, you know, that this had to be man made. But just I can't believe that they don't mention how it was destroyed because whatever happened here, this thing got smashed. So that's pretty much just really what I wanted to show you is that this happens all over the place too. You see, and other people have mentioned this, I think, um, I think Mr. John Levi may have done a video mentioning it, where he showed that there was some places, maybe it was wooden nickels, maybe it was both of them, uh, where they showed, yeah, some places are called castles and some places are called uh, rock formations, but they clearly are the same kind of places. I mean, it just is ridiculous, you know, man-made, man-made, not man-made. Not man-made, man-made. I mean, yeah, the only difference is the look of, of the rock, really. I don't know. So there you go. That's sort of just what I wanted to show you. Just a couple of places in Germany uh, that look the same to me, but we are given a completely different story. One is millions of years old. One is only thousands of years old. But they both have the same features. And the story that we're given, well, about both of them is really a bit silly because we're not even told of the destruction of this one, what happened to it. They just kind of ignore that bit. Oh, it was, you know, a castle, then it was a fortress, and now it's just that. <laughs> it just got old. Um, yeah, but the other one is millions of years old and was carved over time by all these different peoples. Um, you know, completely natural. And like I said, you know, why would they be carving these doors and windows when there's I mean I don't know maybe the story is that they built wood on the back of it or something but I mean why why up on this hill it's a lot of work you know because you can't live in it like this and if you're going to haul you know wood and the stuff up why would you go up onto the top of the hill um, I mean maybe they'll say it's for defense or something but they don't say it's anything to do with a castle so you know just stories just don't make sense so that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Just a quick video. Uh, have a splendid day. Please like, share and subscribe this content. And, uh, of course, thanks to everyone who does do that and all my uh, supporters on Patreon, PayPal and my merch store. And, yeah, have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.